right, morning everybody. Welcome to 307 Country. Today is just a little video on uh, getting ready for the summer and logging and getting ready for Tazapalooza. So I'm going to open this box here. Got me a Weaver uh, bung belt set up. I guess you guys, you know, most people all know about those. So you know, this is what it is. I'm looking forward to using it. They're really well built. Um, just looking at the, you know, the suspenders and stuff, it's good uh, webbing and really nice stuff. So looking forward to using that. Got a half me an axe. I got a J and J handle I got from old Tasman. Um, found a head this morning. I'm gonna put that on. Put on that. And uh, yeah, get set up. Get ready for Taz Blues. That'll be the first time I've. Hopefully, we get to cut some trees down. If there's not, you know bunch of snow this is crazy this winter's just been it's still cold I mean it's still ah, it's 27 now it's 830 in the morning this is one of the warmest mornings we've had all winter but it's almost first April um, I've actually got I'll throw a couple videos in uh, comparing last year to this year I'll put those in right here But anyway, yeah, that's crazy. Um, anyway, let's get to it. This is something I've needed for a while. Um, something everybody ought to probably have. And I'm going to take it to Tazapalooza just to uh, be prepared. God forbid we ever need to use it, but we'll open it up and show you what we got. So this is a trauma bag, um, a lot of room for other stuff, additional things on here if you need them, I want to put stuff on. Um, something you need to carry with you in your truck or, you know, part of a go bag system. Um, everybody should have one, you know, it's case of critical I mean you come on a car accident or something I mean if you if you've been trained in first aid and have all that kind of stuff so here's we got tons of gauze some hand sanitizer looks like some eye wash and you know, if you're gonna get something like this definitely get to know where everything's out in it just so if you're ever in a situation where you need something, bleed stop bandages. So what I'm going to do in this pouch, the bleed stop bandages, I've got several packs of these wound seal. Um, this is a powder that you put on a wound, you know, particularly something in our field, a chainsaw cut. To stop the bleeding get one of these on here this is also going in here this is a Israeli bandage so basically this is a compression bandage uh, do a little research on them they're just amazing um, so yeah these are going in this pack the first aid kit on my logging belt um, the wound the Israeli bandage won't quite fit in there but there's definitely going to be a tourniquet in there. Um, 
probably at least one of these wound seals. Um, some gauze, I might actually throw one of these in there if it'll fit. Tape, you definitely need athletic tape or first aid tape in your <clears throat> first aid kit that you carry on you while you're cutting. Um, in my opinion, having had quite a bit of first aid training and whatnot, um, if you're out cutting and rather than carrying something like this, without carrying something like this, that's going to be bulky and in the way, you know, this little first aid kit here, what you can fit in here um, needs to be a trauma kit, a small trauma kit. You know, if you cut your finger or, you know, break an arm or something like that, <clears throat> that's not something that this first aid kit's for. This first aid kit, in my opinion, is for saw cuts. That's it. If you get smashed by a tree, if you get, you know, break a leg, something like that, you're going to need more than what you can carry in this kit, first of all. And second of all, you're probably going to need to be rescued. Um, anything less than that, you can probably get back to a landing or to your truck or you know to somebody else so um, another good practice and, and we're all guilty of it of not doing it is having somebody else there when we're cutting um, i do it taz does it you know all these guys that you see on youtube a lot of them do it um, not a great practice but kind of one of those things that that's how you get things done so anyway <clears throat> yeah just kind of going through this i haven't seen it yet either so just wanted to open it up and see what's in there triangle bandages ace bandage compression bandage whatever you want to call it um, rescue blankets there is blood pressure cuff stethoscope This is a splint, universal splint. tourniquet right here some bandages lots of bandages I guess that's tape that's a latex tourniquet a couple of cold packs um, gloves antiseptic wipes lots of those shears forceps um, tweezers or scalpel blades there's a scalpel, <clears throat> um, a pen, so there's a pen there that's probably uh, right on anything type of pen. Um, a mouthpiece for doing CPR. There should be, I'm pretty sure there's a suture kit in here. Um, tongue depressors. You know, and then some big trauma dressings. There should be some um, there's a couple. There's that C collar. Pretty sure they have a chest wound deal. I don't see it in here, but. That's something, you know, you can use a bag, you know, 
that's one thing about first aid that I've learned too, um, especially warfare classes, wilderness first aid, is improvise. Um, you know, if you're, I was on search and rescue for a while, and so, <clears throat> you know, a lot of times you're out in the wilderness and you got to do help somebody out. Uh, got to do a lot of improvisation. Improvisation. I said that too fast. But anyway, yeah, so getting ready for Tazapalooza. This will be there. Um, I'm sure other people are bringing stuff. I would assume. I don't know. Um, obviously, most guys are going to have something to carry with them. Um, but this will be, I'm going to bring my four wheeler. Um, this kid, everybody knows, is going to where is going to know where this is at in case, just in case. So, anyway, um, got a lot going on. I got a truck I'm working on, so I'll have a video out on that probably within the next couple days. Uh, Shelby, my stepdaughter, Paula's daughter, had a Ford F-150 and she wound up sliding off the road into a canal and it was dry, but messed up the front end of her truck. It's an 04 F-150 and uh, so it was still drivable, but looked pretty bad. And so she wound up finding another truck that actually looks better. It's kind of in better shape as far as body goes. There's a lot of rust on it, but most of the stuff, most of the body's straight on it. But the transmission was out. So I got to pull the transmission out of her truck that runs good, but it's wrecked, and put it in the truck that the train's bad in. So got that video coming up. Probably not going to be a lot of, you know, step-by-step -step how to, but I'll go through some high points of it. Uh, probably just kind of a, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway, hope everybody's doing great. I really appreciate all the new subscribers. I haven't been posting a whole lot and I'm still gaining subscriber count, which I don't quite understand that, but I really appreciate it. And uh, can't wait to see everybody at Taz Palooza. And looking forward to hanging around the campfire and enjoying some company and running some chainsaws. So love y'all and we'll see you on the next one. 307 out.